This video will demonstrate how to connect to a Microsoft Access database from Visual Studio 2008. Microsoft Access is a database format that is capable of containing all objects for a particular database within a single file. These objects would include tables and views and stored procedures, which are predefined queries, and other items, even such as display forms for someone working in Microsoft Access directly. For our purposes, we're just interested in the data that's contained in the Access database file. So from Visual Studio, it's not even necessary to open a project initially, but you can just go right into Visual Studio and choose View, and from there, Server Explorer. And this panel that you see will open. It lists information about any data connections and any servers that are managed in this panel. Again, these settings are available to all projects that one would open in Studio after defining the connections. So considering that we want to connect to Access, we're going to click the icon in the toolbar for Connect to Database. Optionally, you can also right-click Data Connections and choose Add Connection. When you choose this icon, a panel will appear, and it asks you to choose your data source. If I click the Change button, you can see that my computer is configured to connect to an ODBC data source, which is a generic connection which will work for multiple data sources, to an Access Data file, to Microsoft SQL Server database, or even to Oracle. But we're only interested in Microsoft Access. So what I'm going to do is click it and choose OK, and now I need to choose my database file name. So when I click the Browse button, I'm already pointed to a folder in My Documents that contains the Northwind database, Microsoft's sample database. So I'm going to click Northwind and choose Open. Now Access does require a username and password. Northwind only requires a username of admin with an uppercase A, that's significant, and no password. So to connect, I can actually test my connection first and it comes back and says it succeeded, which means the username and password were valid. Then I can click OK. After doing so, the Northwind database is defined in Visual Studio for use in projects. As you can see, tables are displayed from which I can manipulate data. That concludes this video.